Hello everyone and welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online. It's Narlo here. Say hello to everyone, Narlo. Good boy. Let's cut some light on you. There we go. We're left off here. We are in the green fields. We are in the little village of Scary right outside the quarry. Figure what we're going to do is we're going to go in. We're going to try and kill another queen and take out three more tree weavers. And then we will be finished with the spiders in the quarry part of this uh, adventure over here. And this will probably, I'm anticipating, get us up at least halfway through level 14. And then we can go to Trouble in Buckland. So there's a biter over there. We're looking for weavers and a queen. Tell you what, let's go into stealth mode. Pretend that we're actually a burglar for a change. How about that? Hmm. What's going on here? Quiet calm. 3% hmm. experience gain. Not really what I'm after, but that's alright. Much more biters. I think the weavers tend to be further over this way closer to the actual path that goes down. In fact, that should be probably one right there. Yeah, Greenfield's Tree Weaver. And since leveling up, they're not going to be nearly as tough as they once were. Especially when I got ganged up by three of them that time. of the spiders. Alright. Still looking for two more weavers. I see another one around the corner here. Take it out. Oh. I do hate spiders. And that's not just in game. I have the hardest time with them. For some reason, in the summertime, they love to build their webs. Oops, there we go. There's the queen. Let's see if we can slow her down a little bit. Mm, it's getting a little nasty here. Definitely time to get out of that cluster. And we should be able to get past all these other biters. They'll chase after us, but we'll be able to get away from them. Alright, so we got one more weaver to get. Looked like we had another queen come up there right at the end, too. Founders will take care of them here. Assuming any of them follow us. Yep, there we go. <laughs> and the other one decides discretion's the better part of valor. Alright. Let's let our points heal back up. Or rather, regain our morale. Take a look at this enmity of the spiders have to get kill 47 more spiders and we get hobbit stature it's a racial trait all right we get plus 20 might so we definitely this one right here is definitely a decent one to go after taking out the spiders 20 plus might will really help that's uh, as a hobbit that has always been kind of their racial weakness just like the dwarves have low fate as a dwarf trait that you get a racial trait that uh, gives you plus 20 to your fate 
And that's based on the whole dwarf and the token concept of the dwarves basically being a dying race. Their numbers are low, they don't have very many women born, and they're constantly warring with each other. Or with goblins and stuff anyway. They're constantly at war, their numbers have dwindled. So they have to overcome their fate. Okay, that's a biter. I was hoping it was going to be a weaver. Let's take a peek over this side and see what we got. Biter, biter. Another biter. Alright, where are my weavers at? Uh, there have to be some. There we go. Just had not respawned yet. to Lily Proudfoot and to tell you the truth I don't even remember what it was that she was offering us for doing this I'm sad that's kind of the problem in the Shire there are so many quests in the Shire it can be very difficult to remember the rewards that you get that you've been promised for some of them after you've done it and then done 20 more in between getting it and finishing it all right let's go find miss lily let's not scare her she should be right up here and she is next to the bounder just a moment Thank you, Narlo. The spiders are showing no sign of leaving, but your efforts in the quarry surely won't hurt either. Still, I wonder if I should move to Budgeford. I've always gotten along well with the Bulgers, better than I have with spiders at any rate. So we're going to get a silver, five copper, and a gift, madam. There we go. Alrighty. Now, let's take a look at our quests we have here in the Shire. Mm, we're still a level below this. And the fate of Pernilla Boffin. That is a... Ooh, that's actually a fellowship one. Hmm. Gift for the North. Let's see. Breland. Trouble in Buckland. We can go talk to Celandine Brandenbuck. So we are going to head over to Buckland. Unless there are some to pick up along the way here. I think there's a mail delivery. Where was it the postman was wanting the mail delivered again? I want to say this is the one that we failed last Might time. Might I speak with you a moment? Rockin' Borings, yeah. Okay. While we're here, we'll run this one. Ooh. And we've got a nosy hobbit right there. You see that? See that eyeball just a short distance from us. So we're going to have to be uh, kind of creative in our pathing on this one. Let's get around them. Jump another fence. All right, we're going to approach this one this time from the upper side. Last time I went to the low side and... The nosy one's caught me. So let's see if we can't come from this side this time. Yep, see him standing on the road down there. So. Now, I believe that the postmaster, there he is right down there. 
Let's see if we can get to them before the hobbits get to us. We got it. Excellent. Alright. So that should be at least half of those done. I'm going to head to Buckland now. Let's pull up the map. We've been there before, but we're right up here in Brockenborn. So we're going to run back down the road past Scary, through Budgeford, cross the Ford, go through Stock, cross the Brandywine Bridge, and then we'll be in Buckland, right on the other side. So, as I said, we've seen this path before. So, I'm going to just meet you when we get over there. Wait a second. There is a quest ring up at the inn. Let's go take a peek at it just to see what it is. Is it inside the inn or is it outside? Inside. Go and see what's in the plow and stars. The tavern keeper. Plow and Stars hey, quest. Have some tea. Be welcome to the Plow and Stars. Stay a while and put your feet up. Try our famous Wooly Foot Stout. Good, isn't it? But let me tell you, I have a brewing problem you might be able to help me with. The Four Farthings Brewing more Moot is coming up, and I want to make some of my best Wooly Foot Stout for the judgings. But you see, I need my secret ingredient. I use powdered gypsum to take the bitter edge off the brew. Usually I order it from the quarry in Scary, not far to the east of here, but it hasn't showed up. Can you please go to Scary and find out from old Wilcom Tunnelly what happened to it? Much obliged to you. Sure thing, we'll go and do that. It's on the way, Woolly Foot Stout. Don't know how many of y'all fam are familiar with David Sedaris. The humor author. I was listening to a uh, tape of his the other day. I think it was the live performance, um, live for your listening pleasure. And he was talking about how sometimes you, you get things where you just don't know how to respond. And he said he got told about this drink called a sour, t sour toe, sour toe smoothie or something. Can't remember the last part of it. But some kind of drink that had a frostbit toe in the bottom of it. And he's like, how do you respond to something like that? That's kind of like with the Woolly Foot Stout. It's like, exactly why is it called Woolly Foot? Alright, let's hit scary here right quick. We know where old Mr. Wilcom is. He should be right here in the middle of the plaza. See if he has any woolly foot stout or frozen toad gin Hello. to give us. You've come from Halson. It's a sad story I have to tell you, so just as well it's to you. I sent one of my men up to the old plow with a cart to take that gypsum up for Halson and bring a few kegs back here, but he came back in a panic. It seems he was waylaid by goblins, just as he was almost to Brockenborings. To think, goblins in the Shire. He had to leave the cart behind and barely escaped. I towed one of the bounders here, but they haven't done anything yet. Maybe if you could find those goblins up around Brockenborings way, you might find the cart carrying the gypsum, too. My man says the goblins seem to be coming from the north, for what it's worth. And there's the phone, so we'll stop right there for right now. Alright, and we got the phone call taken care of, so we will continue that quest for the powdered gypsum. So... When we're next up, when, we, when we're back next time, we're going to head out through here, back down toward Brockenborings, see if we can find the missing cart that has the powdered gypsum in it. And we will see y'all then. So, have a good one, and thank you for watching.